Lacerate. Eject. Operation. Channel intro. Hello fellow YouTubers, Lady WC Stop Motioner here. And here I finally, finally have Kingdom Inferno. This is the last one of Wave 2 that I definitely wanted to get. I might go back and get Rack tonight one of these days, but this is mainly who I wanted from Wave 2 along with Huffer, Dinobot, and Air Razor. So here we go for the package. Really awesome artwork again, making me feel bad about throwing the box out, but you know, I can't keep them transform and take up enough space as it is. We just finally saw what Tigatron looks like. He looks like a beautiful figure. I can't wait for when he comes out. Here we see Inferno on the back. Now he has red hands. Thankfully the final product does have black hands. Transforms at 17 steps. I got him a Books A Million where Grapple is still shelf warming. That's why it's interesting that they you know, did decide to retool him into Inferno. I mean, I, I knew it was going to come. I knew they were going to retool Grapple into Inferno. But it's just interesting. Grapple did not sell that well. However, this figure is a little bit difficult to find. So I'm happy that I finally found it. Even though I'm disappointed it's not Beast Wars Inferno. I'll just hold out hope. We'll get a Beast Wars Inferno down the line. And this guy looks like a cool figure. So, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get him open. All right. I got an arc. Okay. He looks really good. So let's go ahead and get him open. Okay, so I don't think I have this arc card yet. You feel it? There's the arc crashing. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one yet. I mean, this part on outer part is the same, but the inner part is different. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, on to the figure himself. Okay, yeah. I I really love this figure. I want Grapple now, because this is a really nice mold. Now I know Grapple has the peg issue and everything, and I think most people consider this figure to be better than Grapple, but Still, I want to have both versions of the mold, and I've just kind of been passing him up, and since he's still rather easy to find. But either way, here we have the awesome fire truck mode. He has really good weapon storage. I mean, the gun on the side, it's a little bit iffy. You know, it's interesting they have these hoses that come with the figure and they're detachable even though you can't really use them for that much and it doesn't really factor into the transformation it's a nice touch but it's a little bit bizarre you can see him from the front he looks really cool not really a whole lot of kibble underneath it's a little hollow back here but it's not the end of the world you can turn the ladder all the way around go all the way back and you can extend this the actual fire truck so very nice I really love this truck mode he rolls fairly well I guess I wasn't sure who to compare him to since I do not have red alert yet I'm hoping to get the new one at Walgreens so, that'd be nice to have. But either way, just kind of as a general truck size comparison, I thought I would go ahead and bring out Earthrise Optimus, who's not really wanting to tab in right now for some reason. And then I thought I'd bring out his wave mate, Huffer, Inferno's wave mate. So they all look pretty cool there. 
I like the looks of it. Very nice shade of red. The Autobot symbol there on the front looks really good. And I think that about does it for fire truck mode. So for his transformation. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to remove this gun. Now I'm going to just detach it at the feet off the pegs here. And the pegs are shorter and thus more a little bit thicker, so they're a little bit, so they're not as prone to breaking. Now you just untab the legs from the arms. Then you attach that. All right. Let's see. Then you can take the feet and hinge them back like that. You take the arms, untap them, swing them around here to the front, pull the fists out, all right. Now you want to rotate this part around. Now this part's a little bit tricky. You have to get it just right where you can hinge, pull this part down, then you want to flip his head out, and basically you just collapse, do a lot of collapsing here. You take this, play it here, you fold, okay, let's try that again. Fold this right here, fold this right here, then you just, let me get this part up, attach the head, Then you just detach these flares right here. And there you have him in his robot mode. You just want to detach this part. Attach it right here. That looks really cool. Now you can really do whatever you want with this part right here. You can just attach it on the back here. It's not super tight, but it's still pretty nice. He looks really good in robot mode. I mean, this is just pretty much a perfect recreation of the original G1 Inferno. I really cannot find much to complain about other than maybe just up and down on the head. That's a nitpick. This is a really nice figure. And really my biggest complaint with it isn't really anything wrong with the figure itself. It's just that it's not Beast Wars Inferno. You know, the Inferno that myself and I know many other collectors really wanted, especially since this is Kingdom where we're supposed to be getting Beast Wars figures. But hopefully he'll be re-released in the Walmart vintage reissue line. So you can attach his gun onto his hand. That looks really nice. He is armed and ready for battle. Now G1 Inferno is one of the characters from the original series that I don't really feel too strongly towards one way or the other, but still this figure is just really super nice. I really rec highly recommend it. If you can find it, like I said, he's way more difficult to find than Grapple was. Grapple was such a shelf warmer, but this guy is a little bit more tricky to find. I've seen him twice before I found him today, I think. So yeah, it's not really super easy to come by. So size comparisons, here he is with Optimus. He's not too much shorter than him. And then here he is with his wave mate, Huffer. These characters don't really have, being here don't really have much, doesn't really have much of a significance, but it's still pretty cool. So, I think that basically does it for Inferno. So, I'm going to see if I can get him on my D1 display. Okay, this will work for now. I just pulled Optimus Prime's trailer out. It's definitely not going to be a permanent thing, especially if I decide to get Grapple in the near future. But, this will work for now. So yeah, that's Kingdom Inferno. 
I, I really do highly recommend this figure. You know, when he was first revealed, I wasn't completely sure if I was going to get him because I was like, why not Beast Wars Inferno? But now I've got him. I really do like this figure. I think he's a lot of fun. He's really good for if you're a, an adult collector or if you're just wanting to find something good for your kid to play with. This, this is a really nice figure. I really can't recommend it enough. So, that's my review for Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Voyager Class Inferno. If you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless.